What's up, everybody? Um, my car shit the bed yesterday. So, I'm in a um, rental right now. I figured, um, I mean, it's a good thing this shit happened here before I got on the road, you know. <laughs> Not sure what's wrong. Looked like the alternator, like, snap. What's this guy's doing? Uh, cops there. There's Danielle or Dominique right there. Still won't go to the hospital. Uh, damn. Uh, so I think the alternator just snapped off, like, to where it was bolted against. I don't know too much against car, about cars, but it didn't sound or look good. <laughs> but um, I got the car for free. I've had it for three years now. You know, I was hoping it lasted for me to do this trip. Uh, so we'll see. Um, I'm waiting to see how much it's going to be to get fixed and I figured I'd come down here. I'm down here. Um, we got some awesome freaking news about well, the Amber. Um, she, our good friend Brian. Park Hill. I've been talking to him. And Amber agreed to go to treatment, um, and and he's going to help us get her in there, um, which is awesome. Uh, you know, it's it's funny too because um, when I reached out to him, he was like, "Yes," and then. I haven't, I didn't talk to Amber at first. I, I just messaged her sister and then um, I was like, oh my God, I can get her treatment. And I was like, but she has to want to go. And then she was like, oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. And then they, uh, her mom and her sister asked me if I would ask her and, and they were like, well, she listens to you more. And they were super nervous and, and I, I completely get that. I didn't tell them this, but I was nervous as shit too. I didn't know. You know, we know Amber's history. Um, you know, um, we, I know it. I, I know how hard it is to get her into treatments. You know, I'm going to go straight. Um, so, so I was nervous as too, nervous as hell. Um, and then, because the, the hospital was talking about releasing her again today, which I think they were going to do. But she... Um, she agreed to go, which is... And here's the fucking crazy part. They asked me to ask her. I completely get that. Um, you know, it's... The family dynamics and stuff, it's, you know... It could be easier to say... Um, oh, that was... Uh, what's his name? I forget. It's easier to say no or to... Stay, you know say no to a, um, a family member. For me, at least, that's how it's always been. You know, that's how I've always seen it. So I understand um, them wanting me to ask her first, and I was nervous, too. I'm like, oh, man, I, you know, I was really... Um, and I'll be honest with you, I did not expect her to say yes as fast as she did. It was like... Um, right away. It was literally, I was like, would you like to go, would you, I was like, by any chance, would you like to go to, um, a rehab? She was like, yep. I was like, wait, what? She's like, okay, I'll go. I'm like, oh, really? I'm like, oh, oh shit, I, I expected the pushback. I don't know why. Um, like I said, well, because of her history and, and, uh, when I messaged her sister and I said, she, I was like, she said yes right away. They were freaking doing backflips and 
Amber's mom was doing backflips, of course, um, you know, but holy shit, what a, what an awesome, 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 awesome day, thing to happen. I, I, I thought there was going to be a little bit more pushback from Amber, and that's just because of her history, but she's been through a lot, and she is seems like she's willing to, to get better now. It really does. I'm going to... I'm going to see if... I don't know what time she's supposed to be going over to the... Re, I might see if I can get over there to bring her lunch before she goes. I'm happy right now. Like, I don't even know what to say. Um, it's, um, I'm relieved is the word I'm looking for, I think. Um, happy. Optimistic. But cautious, too. And um, You know, there's a whole bunch of words I can think of that I'm thinking of right now. I'm not that good of a talker, and I'm not, you know, try and make these videos good and try and talk, you know, say good stuff. But man, Just, uh, it's a beautiful thing today. I mean, she'll be in, she'll be in sober living in a supportive, good place, in a good environment for her to continue healing. Um, that's, that to me is awesome. Sorry about the glare, guys. All right, hold on. Right, that was Brian there getting Amber her bed. God, man, what a good day! I, she said yes so fast. I was so excited. Well, I don't know if we're not excited. Yeah, excited. I guess is the word. Relieved. Just all those things. Just getting worried about Amber. I might go run over and see her now, actually. I'm just gonna drive around for a couple minutes, see what I see, and then go.
Nissan Altima. It's an alright car. It drives nice and smooth. I'm gonna go yell at Dominique now. She lied to me. <sighs> One of the many reasons why I'm bad at doing this is she called me crying the other night, saying she needed help, wanted to get better so she can go to the hospital. Of course, me was like, yeah, okay, I'll send you the money. But you better go to the hospital. And, you know, I told her I would tell her mom that she needs help if she doesn't go within 24 hours, and I did. And you know, she tried. She thanked me for trying to try help Dominique, but Damn, what's this traffic for? That's in the blue pants that just walked by. That is the Puerto Rican lady I see walking. I mean, it is miles upon miles upon miles. You know what? Man, this shit is way too much. And that frickin' traffic just started moving as soon as I came this way, too. Oh, well. My car broke down when I got to Camden yesterday. As soon as I got into Camden, I'm like, awesome place to, head, uh, you know, break down. Um, you know, my luck. But, like usual, nothing bad happened. Everyone I talked to wound up being nice. I was sitting with, um, I have this uh, ND filter for my camera. And it's like an adjustable one. It, it makes it so if it's real sunny out, you put it on and it like darkens it up but if you turn it all the way to the one side it's really dark and you could I was looking at the eclipse through it um, and some lady saw me doing it she was she had a couple kids with her so she ran she ran over she's like excuse me sir what are you doing can we see I'm like ah, yeah and she did they didn't have glasses so then I let all them play with it, all the kids, and then just talking to them.
I'm going to get my bottom denture adjusted today because it was, it's hurting, man. That's kind of get frustrating being the uh, bus drivers around here because you gotta try and keep the schedule and people just be fucking shuffling into the middle of the street. <laughs> What's this dickhead doing? Where the fuck is he going? Where the fuck are you going, you dickhead? Listen, <laughs> I love listening to this fight. I'm just here listening to it because they won't pull me over because they're fucking useless. So, but I wanted to hear her yell at the uh, lady. 
fucking cops around here. Kiss her. Oh wow, did I just start singing when I'm on this? I haven't done that yet, I don't think. That Calum, what's his name? I forget. They used a song um, the Phillies did for a while. It was a Blondie song. Dominique now there was a bus like fucking honking behind me so I didn't stop before How lucky am I that this car broke down before the trip started, though, huh? I got so lucky. You know, normally my luck would have happened when I was in the middle of shit, fuck nowhere, with no cell service, Ugh. nothing, you know? How are you supposed to help something like that? He's about to walk right into this car. Fuck. Now how do you help that? I, I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure how we're supposed to help that. Or, you know? Now, worrying about you gonna get attacked or, or you know. Something like that. It's so hard to deal with because, you know, every ounce of my body wants to give the damn guy a hug and and find out what's wrong and help him but you know they might not be uh, ready for that or might not want that they could be having delusions and you could think I'm gonna be a you know someone trying to out to get them and you might want to hurt me. You know, a lot of the paranoid stuff comes with that. You never know. Or he might thank me for the hug. It's just nerve, I don't know what to do in a situation like that. You know, how many of you guys would have just drove by like I just did? Or how many would stop and, it took, you know, it's a good question. I, I, don't, I don't know what the right answer is. I don't know, you know.
it just was the point. She just was, she had a freaking needle hanging out of her. Shooting up in her armpit just then, man. I didn't feel like yelling at her. Talking to her mom and her, you know, knowing that, um, her mom just knowing that she won't go and, and how close she came to dying last time. hard, man. to do. I don't know what the right thing to do is. I just, uh, I don't know. I spent a lot of time in being, you know, placed against my will in psych wards because of my suicidal thoughts and stuff like that. So I spent a lot of time with people that are very mentally ill and it's... You don't know where, where their delusions are or, or how it's affecting them or if it's making them paranoid or if it's... Uh, you, know, you just don't know. That um, scares me. I don't, I don't know what the right thing to do is. go up by the uh, train tracks now that it's getting nicer out and see what's going on up there. And then I am after the uh, dent, uh, denture uh, fitting, I think I'm going to go over to Camden. Spend some time over there. That was my plans yesterday when it shit the bed, so.
kind of nervous about this surgery on, uh, on Thursday. can just in my mind in the back of my freaking nose just smell this place in the summer again up here yet. I don't know if it is surprising anymore. I really think they're doing everything they can to move everyone up to Kensington and Allegheny. Like they're hurting them. That's the only way I can, it's the only like word I know where I, that describes it. it's hurting them together like fucking cattle. this car's making, man. Every time I get a... The last rental I got for the, uh, to try and do this, there's a horrible braking noise every time. Please turn, please turn, please turn. I don't hate music. What am I talking about? I fucking love music. The only time I hate music, loud music, is when I'm trying to film. Whenever else they do it, I don't care. I like me love listening to loud music. Alright. I guess I'm going to... I gotta go to uh, the dentist thing in an hour. I'm gonna go over to Camden after this, after the dentist thing.
that? Is that Megan? song it's from it's like what every white guy sings when they're uh, talking about rap uh, this guy is here here I ain't gonna put the um, phone on him or the camera I, I hate seeing that What the fuck's going on here? Tom, go to the damn hospital. <laughs> she just smiled at me. Stay out today. It's gonna be, I think, close to 70 today. Is that? Um, oh no, I thought that was uh, my friend Nova walking through there first. I wish I could just grab Dominique by her hair and drag her into the rehab or hospital with me, but she won't go. Um, she can't walk because of her leg. And it, it, this is when I really hate doing this um, because she's gonna wind up dying. And her mom tried to get her to go yesterday or two days ago. She just uh, doesn't seem interested, man. Um, I'm 
just head into my brother's now, and then I'm gonna get all my stuff together, and I think I'm gonna head over to Camden then. a lot smoother to drive than my other one. It drives a lot nicer, you know. It feels smooth driving this. Screaming pastors over there today. I'm a good this is the guy that's usually screaming. I was kind of hoping the, um, what am I trying to say? The uh, eclipse brought along the rapture, so a lot of, <laughs> so they would have been taken away. But it didn't happen, god damn it. I saw one thing, it said, uh, Jesus saw his shadow, so no rapture for four more years. <laughs> laughing when I read that. I saw that one on Facebook. more people in the park today I mean because it is nice weather all right I'm gonna go 
I just want to see this one thing. I'm going to go ahead to uh, Camden now. Well, my brother's first. And then Camden. Oh, I should have went down uh, Jasper. Oh, well. It's going to be a nice day out, a nice night out. I'll be uh, filming for a while tonight. Possibly uh, walk around at night. Trying to decide what I want to eat now. guys wearing a trench coat remember like for that brief period of time in the 90s when nerdy little white guys wearing trench coats were the scariest fucking people on the earth <laughs> oh man the trench coat mafia after Columbine and the media went wild with it the trench coat mafia <laughs> Oh, that's when we turned into a police state right after that, right after Columbine. That's when we, um, that's when we really started turning into a police state. now. 